so welcome back and let us continue to solve a few more examples to solve the simple equations that we have learned now we have an equation which says 10 P plus 10 equals 100 so this 10 P plus 10 is our left hand side and 100 is our right hand side now our first step is to find out how do we isolate this P and we do it in a step by step manner now we see that 10 P is added to 10 so first we need to remove this 10 from here and then we will be left with 10 P and then we try to remove the 10 from the P and then we will be able to isolate the P so first step is going to be to remove this 10 from this side so for that if I subtract 10 from this expression here right so we can do the same on the right hand side that way we can get rid of 10 so our first step is going to be subtracting 10 from both the sides so we have 10 P plus 10 minus 10 because we are subtracting 10 from both the sides and we have 100 minus 10 so what we get now is that this gets cancelled out so we have 10 P equals 90 okay now we still have to isolate this P so if I divide this term entirely by 10 we should be able to get P out so what we need to do is and then we have to if we are dividing this side by 10 we need to divide both of the sides by 10 to maintain the balance of the equation so our next step is to divide both sides by 10 so what we have is 10p divided by 10 equals 90 divided by 10 this gets cancelled so we get p equals 9 because this is 9 now this p equals 9 is the solution to our equation and we would like to check the solution whether p equals 9 solves the problem or not so we substitute p equals 9 in our left hand side which is 10p plus 10 which is equal to 10 into 9 plus 10 which goes out to be 90 plus 10 and then finally it comes out to be 100 this is nothing but the right hand side so we can conclude that for the value of p being 9 the right hand side equals left hand side right and therefore this is a solution of this equation let us look at another example now we have 2q minus 6 equals 0 so in this case now we again proceed to isolate this variable to get the solution now as you look at it we first need to remove this term 6 minus 6 and then 2 so in the first step what we will do is we will add 6 to both sides so what this modified equation becomes 2q minus 6 plus 6 equals 0 plus 6 so this 6 gets cancelled and we have 2q equals 6 however we still have this 2 along with the q and we don't have a separate q so if I divide this 2q by 2 then we should be able to isolate the q so in this case we will divide both sides by 2 so we have 2q divided by 2 
equals 6 divided by 2 which gives us q equals 3 right because this is 2 times 1 and 2 times 3 is 6 now let us check the solution to this equation we do so by substituting q equals 3 in this equation that is 2q minus 6 so we have 2 into 3 minus 6 or we have 6 minus 6 which gives us 0 which is nothing but the right hand side so we can say that for q equals 3 the right hand side equals left hand side and therefore q equals 3 is a solution to this equation let us look at one last example now this is an interesting equation here so we have 3s equals 0 and we have to find out a value of s for which this equation is satisfied now the only way I can isolate s here is to divide this term by 3 in that case I also have to divide the right hand side by 3 so we have dividing both sides by 3 we get 3s by 3 equals 0 by 3 so this gets cancelled and we have s equals now when we divide 0 by any number right it is always 0 therefore s equals 0 is a solution of this equation now to check this equation we simply substitute s is equal to 0 in the left hand side which is 3s or 3 times 0 is 0 which is nothing but your RHS therefore for s equals 0 the left hand side of the equation equals to the right hand side and s equals 0 is a solution to this equation so these were a few more examples that we learned about solving an equation in the next video I'm going to give you a simplified method a bit of added simplification to solve these equations and that method will be the transpose method